Hey everyone, Silicat2 here. Welcome back to more Golden Sun. In the last episode, we found the Dragon Scales, which I am going to equip on Isaac. And we also managed to make it a pretty good part of the way through Venus Lighthouse, I think. In this episode, we are going to be doing more stuff in Venus Lighthouse. This is the last dungeon in the game, and I am super excited about being able to finally finish this game. But of course I'm going to be counting the next game as part of this LP, so watch out everyone. That should do the trick. Let's uncover that uh, sandfall. It's Aqua Sock. I don't know why they translated it like that, but who knows? And Sack makes more sense to me. Okay, let's die. Nope. What's in here anyway? A Gaia Blade! Let's equip this to Garrett because he really needs a weapon attack power boost. Deal. That's where I came in. More power conduit puzzles. And this one looks like a doozy. Let's give Garrett some exercise here. <laughs> Blah. Um, I don't think that was right. That wasn't right. Let's see. I see, I see, I don't see. I see. Almost there, guys. Whoa. Oops. 
I have the feeling this is it, so let's see. Pick this up and go. This is it, guys. We're doing this here and now. So let's go. At long last, the time has come to light Venus Lighthouse's beacon. The second beacon, but only two will remain. No, lighting Jupiter is virtually the same as lighting Mars. That is true. Jupiter is really all that remains. That's right. Your dreams are within your grasp now. Why are you still here, Felix? I thought I ordered you on ahead to the ship. I have already sent Jenna and the others to dock at Dejima. Then why did you come back? Because I have a different promise to keep. A promise, you say? You must mean Sheba. Yes, Sheba. Why haven't you released her yet? You promised to free her once you got into Venus Lighthouse. And that's what brought you back here? You promise not to involve anyone who, is, who wasn't related to this matter. Sheba is special. Of course. Because Sheba is a special adept. You guys learned something from the first two, from the first two lighthouses. What would that be? In order to enter each lighthouse, you needed an adept of that clan. Right now we have fire, er, fire earth, and water adepts, but no wind adept. That does seem to be the case. Do we need Shiva to get into the Jupiter Lighthouse? I'm sorry, Felix, but we cannot even enter without a wind adept. That being the case, I guess I understand why you can't set Shiva free. It seems that you too have learned something. If that is all, then you should go, Felix. No, I cannot leave Shiva behind. I'm taking Shiva to the ship. What are you talking about, Felix? We all know what'll happen when you light this beacon. I won't leave Sheba here to find out. We told you that we'd protect Sheba. Don't you trust us? That's not what I'm saying. It's just best to be safe. Don't tell us what's best, Felix. You're not taking Sheba. Why not? What, you don't trust me? How can we after you just demanded we free Sheba? If we had trusted you a moment ago, Sheba would be free now. Come with me, Shiva. I shall protect you. Are you ready to do this even though it means fighting us? I believe he is. He would not have to fight us if he lacked the will to fight. If it means protecting Shiva from harm, then I must. You have seen what we can do. You know you can't stop us. How can you protect Shiva when you can't even pr protect yourself? This rebellious attitude is exactly why we've never let you fight. Therefore... Is he just, like, level 1 to 5 like everybody else? <laughs> Haven't you give, been given enough reason to fear us in these travels? You're no fighter, Felix. How can you hope to stand against us? You've questioned us for the last time. Let's see what you can do. Looks like they're having a falling out over Sheba. There's something more to it, though. It seems Saturus and Nanardi no longer trust Felix. Looks like the perfect opportunity has just fallen into our laps. Now's our only chance to prevent them from laying the beacon. It's not a moment to spare. Let's move! <clears throat> Isaac. So, you come to stop us? Look what your defiance has brought us, Felix. I don't need you or anyone to rescue me, Isaac. I was just about to sell things with Satros and Minardi. You can watch. And then, we'll show you the true power of this beacon's light. But Sheba has nothing to do with this, so set Sheba free. Silence! You best tread lightly, Felix, or both you and Sheba will suffer. If anything happens to Sheba, we'll have failed for Ram. We won't per we won't permit you to lay a hand on Sheba or Felix. Oh, so you're worried about Sheba too? Don't worry, we won't hurt Sheba if you meet our conditions. What are you doing, Satros? Leave this to me. Sheba, do you remember the rod connected to Hesperia? The Rod of Hesperia? The Rod required to reach, uh, reach the Jupiter Lighthouse. Y yes. Those are Pursue Us, Sparrow Rod. Is it the one? 
Shiba, stay where you are. You can do it from there. Mind read. She is apparently a Jupiter adept, just like Ivan. How about Shiva? Well, Shiva? Perhaps... Perhaps... Perhaps what? Don't yell at her. We're not yelling, we just want a straight answer. So, Shiva? Their minds are veiled. I cannot see clearly, but I think it's the one. It's a waste to make her try again. So what do we do? Do you know the terms we will require before we agree not to harm Shiva? Let me guess, you want us to give you the rod. You're smarter than I thought if you've already figured it out. If you give us the Shaman's Rod, Shiva will not be harmed. Agree? The Shaman's Rod? If it means saving Shiva, I will give it to you. What the- Hammett gave that to you, Ivan! Don't you care what happens to Shiva? Then you'll give us the rod! Well done, Satyrus. We finally have the Shaman's Rod. Go get it, Felix. Why me? To ensure your loyalty to us. Go on, Felix. <sighs> Isaac handed over the Shaman's Rod. What should I do with the rod? Keep it safe. Where do you think you're going, Shiva? We gave you the rod, now release Shiva! Whatever do you mean? You said you'd free Shiva if we gave you the rod. Those were your terms. We gave you the rod, so release Shiva! You seem to have misunderstood. I said we wouldn't harm Shiva, but I never said we'd let her go. You're altering the bargain? Pray I do not alter it further. Haha, <laughs> we cannot... We can't help it if you misinterpreted Saturos' terms. Besides, if we were to release Sheba, she'd be in quite a fix. What do you mean? Sheba can't get back to Lalavero alone. What do you mean? We're gonna take Sheba... Oh no. That's right, you won't be going back. This is it for you. Excuse me? Enough! You're the ones who aren't going anywhere! Bring it on, Welp. You won't live long enough to regret your stupidity. Prepare to experience the first hand the horror of a master fire adept. Minardi and Satros! This is it. Let's fight! Obviously, they are both weak against water, so Mia is going to be pulling double duty of healing and attacking with Mercury summons. And hopefully, we won't get screwed over. Because we didn't grind enough. We're gonna get screwed over because we didn't grind enough. Maybe I should just let Garrett do the fighting. <laughs> Or something. Oh wait, Isaac is the one with you. Right. Alright. Actually, we should take out Minardi first. If I re Common sense says that she's the weaker of the two, and she's also the healer, so we're gonna want to take her out as soon as we can. Also no supernova. <coughs> Let's have Isaac take over over healing for a little bit. Whoa. WHAT?! Ugh. The evil spirit grips Garrett. Isaac 
three hundred. Whoa! Not good, not good, not good, not good, not good, not good, not good. Impact. A uh. hundred to- Whoa. Thank God he didn't hit me up. This is actually pretty hard. Then again, it's the final boss, so yeah. Oh, quick casting impact! Ugh. I'm gonna have to have Garrett step in, aren't I? Part of the problem is that me is just so slow. No. <sighs> As because our backup healer, if he was knocked out by a death size, that would have pretty much been the end, unless I got lucky with one of the gin. Boreas! Come on, come on, come on. Wait, 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 wait. Garrett is faster than Mia? What? My power rises by 71. Gotta keep Isaac alive. Okay, we're screwed. We're screwed. Yeah. 